Hey, it's Burke, and today I want to take a look at how we can use PostgreSQL or Postgres or however you say that word inside of Azure because it's pretty easy. So let's take a look. First, we're going to click the plus sign here and then come down to surprise, surprise databases. And then inside of that, Azure database for PostgreSQL. Click that, and then you can see the different uh, fields that you need to fill out in order to get a database. You don't wanna watch me do this, it's boring. Plus, I already did it, and I don't wanna do it again. So I'm gonna come over to the one that I've already created, and while I do that, I wanna mention that you should probably download the PG Admin tool so that you can work with the database that you've created. Now, once you have downloaded those tools, you wanna to connect to your server. So I can pull up the PG Admin tools here, and this host name address comes from the portal, gives you all this information. So right here, and then the username, same thing with this uh, at database convention, just copy that in, put in your password. You're gonna wanna change the SSL mode to require, because if you don't, it's gonna tell you to do that. So you might as well do it now. And then the last thing that you're gonna wanna do is come over here to connection security, and by default, Azure puts these databases behind a firewall and you're gonna need to add a rule so that you can get through that firewall to the database. And this is for database security. So you can just click this add my IP button, which I've already done, and then you'll be able to get to the database. If you don't do this, then you'll just get a login failed when you try to log into, when you try to access the data in the database. So don't forget this step, it's very important. Now, once you've done that, you can come back and you can see I've already run some queries here. I created a table, I selected from the table, I inserted some stuff into it, it changed a password. I've been super busy with SQL today. Now, all of this being done, let's take a look at how we can query this database from a Node.js app. So let's jump over and do that. I'm going to go to Visual Studio Code here, and you can see I've got the PG module, and I already installed this, and this is how we interface with Postgres. Uh, the connection string, we're going to do username, which is the sample at sample DB, and then super secret, my super secret password, the name of the database, or the server rather, and then database, which is customers. That's the connection string there. And then uh, down here below, you can see it's pretty simple. We create a new client, we connect with that client, and then we have a query, which is a string, and we execute that query. So let's jump over here and do that on the terminal here. And I've already done it, which is why we're seeing all of this here. Let's run it one more time. And you can see that it pulls back our data right here. So just like that, we're connecting to a Postgres database in Azure from a Node.js app. Pretty simple. I like simple stuff. I hope you like that. I'll see you next time.